All right, next up we have Pixel Terrorist, Pixel TV versus Ivan O. And this is on Abaddon, VST1. So uh, this version of the map apparently is different than the one I have, so the light map is invalid. Last time I built this, it took like 10 minutes, so I would rather not rebuild that. Plus the map looks pretty much the same. So anyway, uh, we're just going to go from here. And again, I have not watched this demo, but I will try to provide the best information I can to Pixel. Alright, so right off the spawn, you see that Ivano uh, is right there, so he's got the yellow armor immediately, he's going to be able to get to the Mega. My first thought is, what's important here, and I know Pixels only had less than a second to think, so realistically, this is something that you just kind of got to get used to whenever uh, you see the spawn, is go straight for red, because realistically, um, he's going to get those first two major items, and I don't think Pixel has enough time to get to the other yellow and red, unless Ivan messes up and thinks that he's not going to go for the or for the other yellow. So I would probably go straight ahead to the bolt rifle, and then bunny hop straight to the red armor. Um, so we'll go from there. This doesn't seem like a bad option. Uh, from here, you could also hop down to the left and grab the red, but I'd still be a little bit scared that Ivan would be able to beat me to it if uh, you went to the right here. Yeah, okay. So is Ivan going to beat him? Yep. Okay. So, not too far into the game. Now, what weapons do people have? Ivan has rocket launcher, he has bolt rifle. Pixel has rockets and ion cannon. Next yellow armor up is the one that's kind of close to Ivan. Uh, actually, it's kind of between them, because I think they're both not too far from this one. But it's also not the most important fight ever, because Pixel has got 120 armor. So if he wins this fight and gets the yellow, then it's not going to be like, you know, it changes much, and Ivan's already got more armor than he needs. So I wouldn't necessarily be contesting for an armor here. Uh, I'd be going more for a bolt rifle and keeping my opponent away from the ion cannon. Doing damage is always a good thing. Well, not always, always, but most of the time. Okay. Low on health, good, going for the red. Perfect. Ah, uh, weapon choice. Let's see, so you had a lot of weapons there, and the grenade launcher might not have been the best option. I, I think shotgun up close is always good, ion cannon is effective. Alright, good. Going for the yellow that you can get. Oh, you missed the rockets. Darn. That was really close. So the other rocket launcher... Okay, yeah, I went back for it. So the Mega is up there. Mega's coming up in two seconds. Take the teleporter. What I'd be thinking here is... Realistically, you're probably not going to get the Mega, but it never hurts to do some damage to your opponent. And one of my favorite things recently is whenever you use the shotgun and you're just below your opponent and you fire upwards, it really knocks him back. I mean, you can nail him to the ceiling with the damn thing. So what I would think is step forward, pull out the shotgun. Whenever he jumps for it, either swat him away so he doesn't get the Mega, or at least hit him after he grabs the Mega so that he's knocked away, taken some damage, and, you know, he's lost a little bit of the Mega buff. Now the red's coming up soon. Ivan is low. Uh, he's at the lower side of the map. He's at Mega. He can either take this teleporter just to Pixel's left, or he might take the bolt rifle route straight to red. Either way, Pixel should be able to get to this red beforehand. Ah. Okay. So, we have yellows up. Alright, so he's taken enough damage that it would be worth going for the yellow, and I would be a little bit, uh, I wouldn't want to leave it up because I think Ivan has also taken enough damage that he could rocket jump up to it and grab it. Yep, he goes for it. Oh, he hasn't taken enough damage. Okay, 
So now, Ivan has not taken enough damage to grab this yellow. He wants to deny you the, ar the yellow armor. So what you should be doing now is running away, getting health, wasting his time, maybe hopping down to the red, and then trying to escape if he decides to chase you down there. Alright, so you got that one. A little surprised Ivan decided to chase you. Yeah, back off. <laughs> okay. Red's up. Steal it. Good. Okay, Mega's coming up. Again, Shotgun I think would have been a great thing to try to just swat him away. I Again, I don't have the experience to say this is 100%, but I strongly suspect that if you're aiming the Shotgun near the Mega whenever the guy tries to jump, you'd be able to swat him away, prevent him from getting it. Oh, Mega's up. Go for it. Ah. So yeah, the Mega was up right here. And to the left out this window, he could have jumped to it. That's what I was complaining about. Still, not the worst damage to do. Ah. I was thinking, go straight up to the other yellow. Because uh, this yellow would be a nice thing to deny from Ivan and take for yourself. Alright, so you're low, yellow's up, red's coming up soon. Ivan, realistically, is probably going to be waiting at the red armor to grab that. Uh, now would be a good time to retreat and get the other yellow. 50's good. And good, yellow. Okay, so Ivan has a clear stack advantage. He's got at least 100 extra damage he can take before he dies versus you. Bunny hopping around whenever there are no major items that you're looking for, uh, I, I wouldn't be doing that. Basically, you know, you're in a good position. You can stand a minor fight. You're not going to get into a major fight. You need to do some damage. You need to have the initiative. You need to... Uh, get a good opening rocket or bolt that he does not return damage on to be able to fight on even ground. And since you're not rushing for an item, I think now is a great time to be silent. These halls in this map uh, can definitely give you an option to be silent whenever you sneak around. And Ivan's being quiet. So that's... He's certainly playing in a way that I would. Yellow's up. Good, good. So now both next armors are coming up at the same time. Okay, so you've got... If you pick up this red, you're only going to gain 40 extra damage that you can take. That's not like, you know, you, you don't need to grab this red as soon as it comes up. But I'm not 100% sure where Ivan is. So my thought is, if you listen for a second, see if you can bait a fight, do some damage on Ivan, then grab the red. Because if he hurts you in that fight, then you'll have the, you know, uh, the stack advantage coming up after the fight. And if he's being too quiet, you know, uh, since there's that drop-down point right above red, this isn't something I would stray too far from to beta fight. I would just peek out around the corner, see if he's walking down low, jump up up high, see if he's waiting up above, try to do some damage, grab the red, escape. That was a nice shot. Alright, so both yellows are up. Ivan's got one. Doing some good damage on him again. Nice. So he's low. Oh! <laughs> Bouncing grenades. Okay, so the Mega's up there. Um, so yeah, Mega's coming up real soon. Now, he doesn't have a weapon here. He grabbed the yellow. The worst he can do is axe you, but once he axes you once, you know, he, he's not going to hit you again. And I think the Mega is something you should really be pushing for. Uh, you should try to prevent him from getting that. So rather than backing off here, you know, pull out shotgun, uh, maybe ion cannon or plasma and then after that just 
make sure, like, you fell down here. So I'm thinking, don't let him get this mega. Pull out the shotgun, be ready to blast him into the lava. Shotgun's still the only thing up, basically. Er, sorry, mega's still the only thing up. Now it's not. So here's the other one. Yeah, good. I was going to say you need to take a little extra damage to steal that. Now this is the same thing I was talking about. If you pick up this red, you're only going to gain an extra 35 damage you can take. So being in position for the red is great, but the fact that like you can get into a fight right now, do some damage to him, take some damage, pick up the red, that puts you in a much stronger position if you can actually you know, do something significant to him. Nice. Okay. So now, Ivan should be fairly hurt after that engagement, and the only armor up is the one you just passed by. He's being quiet, though. So let's see. He's at the lower level. He's near red, I believe. You know, I'm curious. Am I right? Yes, he's at the red. So if he takes that teleporter, he's going to be at the bolt rifle, and my thought is, don't let him get to this yellow. Hunt him down, get a kill, and if you need to, steal that yellow. <laughs> Alright, so this yellow is up, the other yellow is up. Same position as the last couple of yellows, or uh, reds rather. Okay, so you wouldn't have been able to bait a fight since he's on the other side of the map at that yellow. Plus he was being quiet, so you really wouldn't want to venture out too far. So, that was fine. Alright, don't let him get this mega. Good. Now, your yellow's coming up next. Nice dodge. Perfect. Okay. So he's retreating after that. Uh, he's definitely hurt. Mega's, or I'm sorry, red armor is here. He's going for his yellow. Good time to just find out where he's going. Okay. So let's think. Let's listen to the sounds. Wait. Rewind to the point where he grabs yellow. I can't tell if he took the jump pad, but it sounds like he went for the upper red, or upper rocket launcher, so I don't think he's anywhere near here. Yeah, he, he's at the upper rocket launcher. So, if you're trying to intercept him to do some damage, um, you probably want to take these uh, this jump up above, or take this teleporter, go straight, take the other teleporter, do something to meet him up high, and since he seems to be a little bit quieter whenever he knows there aren't items coming up, uh, getting up high to have a better vantage point is a good thing. So anything to get one floor up would be a good thing in this position. Yes. Now where is he? Wrong yellow. Good damage. Good, good. So he's going for his yellow, I bet. No, he's not. He's going for a red yellow. Okay, so you're on the right side of the map. You got the mega coming up soon. You got that yellow. Now get to the red. Fastest way to the red from here, I think, and I've not timed this, is the shotgun teleporter that takes you to the floor above red. And I don't know if this is enough time to get to it, 3.8 seconds, but I suspect it would be pretty close if you just rush straight for that shotgun teleporter. Good damage, you're at the yellow that's up. Okay, so 127 armor, this yellow's up. Denying it is good, but I think, you know, since he just got the red, he took a little bit of damage, it's not like you need to get this yellow. This is again one of those situations where I'm thinking, do some damage, take some damage, 
take this yellow. Then it sets you up in a better position for the next time you're fighting for a major item. Plus that was really close in terms of the spam shot. Now, think about this. Last time, 25 seconds ago, whenever you were in this position, you got that yellow, you didn't quite have enough time to get to the red. So this is the position where I say, forget the yellow, it seems like you have a better stack than he does, try to contest for the red. Get into a better position, make it so that he has to put up a major fight to get for the red. So like, take that teleporter at shotgun. Nice. Okay. Shotgun teleporter. To red. He's got it, doesn't he? Yep. Okay, so he's quiet. I don't think I heard him teleport. He's just down below you, but he's relatively light on weapons. Might have a bolt rifle. There he is. Ah, he has iron cannon. Good. Nice. Okay, he's low. Very low. Dead. Ah, <laughs> that shotgun. Do you see how much knockback that is? I don't think that was even a full hit, you know? That's like... Maybe just a little bit more than a half hit. So, look at that knockback. If you were in the air, I bet that would have knocked you away so that you didn't get the mega. Anyway, um, yeah. Red's up. You can get to it before he does. Should be good. Yep. Now, the other yellow's up. It sounds like he's bunny hopping to it. He's probably going to go around to the rocket launcher, so this would be a great time to take these uh, little pipes up to the yellow and then intercept him there. Because if you get into a melee fight with him, sure, you're going to take damage, but you need to take damage to get the yellow anyway. Good damage. Ah, nice try. Ah, okay. This fight, so uh, this this hallway, being up high with the ion cannon is beautiful. This is one of my favorite places to fight from the couple times that I played this. And whenever you're up here, you can pretty easily dodge rockets if you just pay the slightest bit of attention. You don't even need to like do major strafes left and right. You can practically stand still, and then whenever he fires, just you know tap to the side. So this is the position where I get into here with the Leon Cannon, and I just track, 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 track until he's dead. You know, like you're you're focusing on dodging, you're moving too far to the right, stepping up those stairs, throwing your own aim off. So this is the sort of place where I'd just be standing relatively still and just paying the slightest bit of attention to dodging. And then you're trying to track too much at the end there. But, you know, such is life. Alright, so red's up, and again, I think the fastest route... Yeah, this is good. That's a close one. Nice. Okay, Mega's up. Glad it's not just me who screws up that jump to the Mega. So Ivan is quiet. He's very quiet. He was waiting for a while there. Um, just as a heads up, I think I figured out what's different between the version of the map that I was playing on, which is the most recent, and what they were playing on. This teleport out of red sends you right here, and I believe it sends you back maybe 10 feet in the current version. So that's the only difference I've observed so far. Alright. This yellow's up and nothing else is coming up anytime soon. Ivan just got the other one. So in terms of stack, Ivan is maybe just a little bit lower than Pixel. And what I'm thinking here is get into a fight, but don't stray too far from this armor because you're going to want to do damage to him, get this armor, get to the next important item, which would be the red and or mega. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight you. That's smart. Oh, he does want to fight you. Take this teleporter. Rush him. 
Alright, so this fight went on too long, you didn't take enough damage. Uh, you, in my opinion, like, he's in a bad position still. Both the Mega and the Red are pretty far from him. You're closer to both. If you jump up to the Mega and spam so that he does not get to the Red, then you can prevent him from going to it. You could grab the Mega and then hop down and go straight for the Red. That might be the best option here. Grab Mega. Ah. Oh well. Ooh. Okay. So Mega's still up. Low on health here. Red's coming up, and he is chasing. Alright, so that fight... Again, this is, this is definitely a good position. You're correct in that you probably should not be using uh, hitscan weapons whenever you're this low on health, because if he decides to, you know, join in using hitscan, you're just gonna melt in no time. Um, but I don't think this is a good place to play too defensive from. Like, if you want to just run away, do that, and you have two good options here. One is go to red, the other is head toward the 50 health, which I don't think would be up now, but if he would chase you in that direction, he'd be away from the red, so that would be dangerous as far as a play for him. But uh, the important thing is, you're up by three, it's a minute and 45 seconds left, so all I'm thinking is, get away from him, don't let him kill you. And that was very close. Ah, uh, no, no axe. Alright. So, you have, is this the yellow just to your right that spawned? I think it might be, but even so, jumping forward uh, whenever the rocket launcher is just to your right and some shards, definitely not the thing I'd be going for. I know the red's up, but he has, realistically, he's not going to let you get it. And this unfortunate spawn. Not much you can do about that one. Alright, so he's got the yellow, he's going for the red. On the other side of the map, you've got the yellow coming up in a second, and the mega. So you could definitely be going for those and get both of them. Good. Nope. Taking a long way around there. So is he. Good. Good, good. Okay, you have pretty much all the important weapons aside from shotgun. This is the next armor up, followed by the red very shortly after. Now remember, last cycle, he grabbed this yellow, he went straight for red. There was no time between them, like he didn't wait, and he's there. So he's most likely going to be able to prevent you from getting that red, barring any sort of weird case where you hop down and his rocket bounces you into the red. So you have two options. One is you set up here and you let him get the red and you try to do damage to him on his way out. The other option is you hop down before this yellow spawns, do some damage to him, then jump up and take the yellow. I think those are the better options here. Waiting for it, probably not a good idea. Ah, he lets you get it. Well, that is his problem, not ours. Okay, so the other yellow is up. He should be getting that now. Any time now. Oh, well, both yellows are up. Not sure what he was doing at this time there. Alright, Mega's up. Good damage. Okay, now let's think. You have 20 seconds left. You have the stack advantage. One yellow is up. After you grab this yellow, I don't think chasing him is a good idea, because he can probably run away and spam for the last... Well, I don't know. 
you might be able to chase down a frag, but I would be more inclined to just hop down, take the teleporter, go for the other yellow, and maintain a solid control going into a potential overtime. But if he can test you for the yellow, by all means, go for the kill. Nice. Oh, that would have been a good time to chase for the kill. Because after that direct, he's got, like, nothing. Let's see what he's got. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely have chased him there. Oh, very close. Okay. I don't like that chase, by the way. Um, so being here... Waiting here in the new version of the map is good because the teleporter's in front of you, but since the teleporter's behind you, he gets a better position to the only armor that's up on the map. I don't like letting my opponent get closer to the yellow armor that's up whenever nothing else is going to be up for at least 15 seconds. Oof. Ran into spam. Yeah, so after just a little bit of damage there, would have been a good time to teleport and go for this yellow. Now the other yellow is coming up, and the red. I find that jump is a little bit inconsistent as well. Um, rather than doing the double jump out the window, I think just taking the teleporter and jumping straight to the Mega might be safer and more consistent. Oh, Nice rocket. So the yellow to your left is up. Yeah, I thought he might be doing that. Remember, that's where he was waiting just before overtime, whenever you got uh, both the yellow and the red. So, he was waiting in that corner, just to the left here. Okay. <laughs> Suicide. Don't let him get the red. Run. <laughs> ah, oh well. Good game, I guess. Yep. Sigh. Also known as GG. Okay. So, that was the first demo I've reviewed on this map. And, like I said, I find this to be quite a fun map. Um, a lot of good options people have. A lot of good routes. A lot of good places you can force a, a fight for a choke point. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope everybody learned something. And I would love to see this map being played more. Thanks. Bye, guys.